So Lois goes to talk to Brenda, and oh, for the love of Neptune, she's wearing sunglasses. I mean, I already knew where this was going, but could you at least try not to make a cliche out of it? So the next minute is actually a real conversation between Lois and Brenda about the seriousness of abusive relationships. The dialogue between them mirrors that of a real life version of the same conversation. Brenda uses the most common excuses that we hear, and it's clear to her that her fear has brainwashed her into staying. This is really serious, and the writers actually showed some restraint and didn't try to cram tons of jokes in this. As much as I hate this show, seeing that they can have some level of self-control is nice. I'll be generous and give it three minutes. So we cut to the guys hanging out at the clam, as Quagmire has become increasingly distressed about his sister. He asks Joe if there is anything the police can do. Sadly, Joe says that unless Brenda comes to them herself, they can't do anything until it's too late. Again, legitimate concerns and not a whole lot of jokes. Are you sure this is Family Guy? Give it a minute. So Joe recommends that they try to have an intervention for Brenda to get her away from shithead. Letters and someone who inappropriately tries to make it about themselves. Oh, that sounds great. I bet I would really shine at one of those. Don't. You. Dare. So we cut to the intervention, and it seems to be going maybe well. Maybe can change him. Okay, maybe she wasn't the one to start. Caleb, you want to go ahead? M me? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, it's Chris. So, you like getting beaten, huh? Well, why don't you smoke a whole carton of cigarettes? I told you to give it a minute. <sighs> Okay, bullshit aside, we do get a really nice moment from Quagmire where he tells his sister how he feels about the situation. Now, one thing that is a little off about the speech is that the wording comes off as a little selfish. It's negligible at best, so I won't get into it. Overall, not a bad scene. Which is a perfect time for me to tell my jokes. You shut the fuck up! I will save them for the end. Well, it looks like everything is wrapping up here. Oh, cool. I get to punch out early. Cool. Get to put in a half day. Hey, sit your ass back down! How much is left? Nine minutes. <laughs> and it gets worse. Listen here, you bully. For your information, Brenda just agreed to leave you. Like hell she did! Brenda, you tell him? No, not yet. Everyone, I have wonderful news. Jeff and I are getting married! <laughs> yeah, but only cause she's pregnant. Pregnant?! Oh, congratulations! Have you thought of any names yet? Maybe, maybe Slappy? Or, or Bruzy? Shut the fuck up, Peter! So we cut to the guys playing poker and venting about the new developments. Quagmire has finally been pushed over the edge, and he suggests that they go and kill Shithead. But don't worry, there's a cop in the room, so nothing will actually come of this. Let's waste this dick. Oh great, this is where we are going. This no longer became a story about someone finding the strength to get themselves out of a bad situation, or some monster learning about his own inadequacies and dealing with them. This now became about, hey, that dude's an asshole, let's kill him! Now, don't get me wrong, I want to see this walking foreskin burn just like the rest of you, but what does this really say about the victims of abuse? Are they really so weak and brainwashed that the only way to free them is to commit murder? I don't have anything to say. I just want to let you think on that one for a while. So the guys have come up with the most brilliant plan. Actually, we don't have time, Jeff. We were just about to go on our annual midnight hunting trip. We thought you might want to join us. Real subtle, guys. So the guys go to the forest, and before they can kill Shithead, he gets the jump on him and takes Quagmire hostage. Shithead is about to kill Quagmire, but Quagmire convinces him to settle this with their fists. And you can guess how well that goes. Yeah. The fight ends with Quagmire being strangled to death. What did I say? What did I fucking say? Dark. Okay, we all know he isn't dead and he's gonna get up and kill a shithead, so let's just skip to that. Okay. My bloodlust has been sated. Let's finish this.
The episode finishes off with the guys giving Brenda a fake letter to make it look like shit had left. Brenda kinda takes it hard. I kinda wanna kill somebody else now. Oh, what? Fuck off, Peter! Wait, that's how it ends? No closure for Brenda? No explanation of how they got away with this? Nothing? I thought I would be happy that this is over, but now that it is, I'm more pissed off than ever! Look, Family Guy, I know you can do serious content right, so what the hell happened? This episode goes beyond being a train wreck. This is a natural disaster. The jokes that you put in don't work with trying to ease the topic of the episode. I just watched it and I can't remember a single joke that was made. All I remember is how fucking uncomfortable I was watching it. On top of that, this paints a very narrow-minded picture of abusive relationships, mainly those that pertain to the abused being too weak to actually leave their relationships. So it's just easier to kill the abuser and call it a day, than to actually help the victim figure out why they keep going back. It's not a psychological problem, he's just an asshole! Family Guy, you need to make a choice. Do you want to be funny, or do you want to try and be serious, because you obviously can't consistently do both. And I urge you, please, please, try and be funny again. I miss when you were funny. We both miss when you were funny. I want to like Family Guy again, I really do. But if this is how you're going to handle sensitive subject matter, then I can't like you just based on principle alone. I mean, you suck, and that's plenty of reason to hate you, but even if you were good, I couldn't like you. Okay, but Are we done with Family Guy yet? Well, not quite yet. I'm going to kill you now. Calm your tits, man. It's just one more episode. One more? One more. Fine. I've got something special planned. <laughs>